Okay, so I made a very uh, basic setup just uh, to uh, so that we can have a sort of a before and after. Um, so what I want to show first is that if I push and pull on the ball screw, there's pretty pretty much no movement. Uh, but if I push on the ball nut and put it on zero, push pretty much as hard as I can. Okay, and then now pull pretty hard. I get pretty much exactly three thou of movement. Yeah, it's maybe more three thou and a half. So I was quite uh, precise in my guesstimate of three thou. Actually, it's maybe closer to four thou if I uh, if I push and pull real hard. So uh, I'm gonna undo this setup, repack uh, the ball nut with the new uh, bearing balls, and I'll put that setup back in here, and uh, we'll see the before and after. Okay, so there are uh, two channels with 115 bearing balls in each channel, so uh, for a total of uh, 230 uh, bearing balls. Um, and I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm going. It's it's going to be a bit challenging to film, um, but as you can see, the 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 ball nut is unscrewed uh, all the way to the last uh, few threads uh, on the plastic uh, thingy here in the bottom and these are the channel uh, entries in and out uh, and so I got the the lower channel uh, entry flush with uh, the top of the first uh, threads on the ball screw and I'm going to start to put some bearing balls in there and now I can uh, unscrew the, the the ball nut and push some bearing balls in to the entry of the the channel. I'll reach for some a few more bearing balls. And I don't know if you can see, but I can push them in, and it already start to. Uh, come out from uh, from the top here you see so now that we're at this point I'm going to uh, put as uh, many uh, balls uh, in place and I'm going to start to uh, screw in the ball nut like this and you want to make sure that uh, you already always have uh, balls um, in place ready to move in it's a bit tricky uh, to start with, but at a certain point, um, once you have like a few threads in place, it becomes easier, and you know everything starts to uh, takes its place. 
We're getting there. Once you find a trick, it's quite easy actually. You just have to find just the right sort of amount of of you know of the the, the ball screw versus the thread where the, the, the bearing balls can move in into the thread. And once you've found that sweet spot, they they move in quite easily actually. See? I'm turning a little bit, then I can thread some more. I feed some more in. It's really uh, all about finding that sweet spot where the balls can thread in. I hope you can see this. And when I I screw it in, I try to keep the balls in place so that they don't, uh, you know, unscrew. They stay uh, stacked against each other. I still have quite a lot of the balls to feed in, and it's kind of not happening right now. I'm not too sure what to do. Oh, I think I know. I'm going to try to unscrew it while uh, stopping them from coming out here. That should put some pressure. And allow me to restack them a bit tighter. Maybe it was easier because uh, last time the bearing balls were uh, smaller. Now they're the right uh, width, hopefully. So that might be why I'm having a bit harder of a time. But it's uh, not that bad actually. Um, yeah. I better keep some pressure while I'm screwing it in a bit. Now I can feed some more balls. We're getting there. I'm gonna do it. I'm feeding in the last few ones. Two more. I've got one stray, and this is real bad. You can't have a, a stray bear, bearing ball uh, between the two channels because this is going to get stuck and wreak havoc. So you have to make sure that there are no balls. Uh, between the two channels. This is paramount. Okay. All is good. I'm going to do a few turns just to make sure nothing get is binding and if there is backlash, it's very little. Looking good, guys. Looking very good. So now we have to repeat the same thing with uh, the second channel. Okay, so I'm taking the second the, the 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 entry of the second channel flush with the ball screw and I'm ready to start putting some bearing balls in there come on I'm going to start just with one of course it goes into the hole just make sure it's threading in nicely. Just when I thread, I try to uh, stop the balls from uh, traveling too much. Just a little bit of pressure, so that uh, they they're nicely stacked uh, behind each other. It's going well. It's getting a bit stiffer, which I guess is could be a good thing. Or I got a stray ball between both channels and I'm going to have to start over again. We'll see. It's pretty stiff. What's going on? 
I don't think I did any mistakes, but you never know. Here's the set, uh, the uh, entry of the other channel. So I'm going to have to start to uh, fill again, try to stuck them the best I can. I can push something from the top. Okay, so uh, this is the after video. I don't know how well you can see uh, the dial indicator, but uh, as you can see, it's it. You no, know, it. Uh, comes back to its uh, original place and if I push and pull real hard in any direction there is hardly any movement at all maybe a, a tenth or something but uh, that might come from the, the bearings that uh, are holding the ball screw anyway huge huge improvement uh, the ball nut uh, is a little stiff um, I don't know maybe maybe uh, two to uh, four pound eight inch of uh, stiffness something like that um, I think uh, I think it's good uh, for sure an improvement um, I don't know if uh, maybe that stiffness will go away uh, as it's uh, working hopefully it won't uh, damage uh, the ball nut or the ball screw anyway I tried worst case scenario I replaced the whole uh, Y axis uh, ball screw um, what you, what are your thoughts on uh, the stiffness? Is this uh, acceptable, or should I try to find uh, maybe a hundred and twenty-four thousand uh, bearing balls? All right. So uh, thanks uh, for watching this video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.